I'll open my Chrome browser and uh, download the extension. So you can just um, search for Google Chrome extensions. Then it's this first link here. Then you, you'll come to this uh, search box and uh, search for mobile simulator. which is this extension here. Then I'll click on it, then uh, I add it to Chrome. So it started downloading down here. You can also see it up there. So as it's uh, downloading, I can uh, look for a random responsive website. So let me head to my browser because I don't have any website running on my local right now. So let me use, for example, apple.com. So this is the website that I'm going to be using to test. So instead of uh, inspecting your browser and trying to check different uh, screen widgets, this extension makes uh, things easier for you. So I think it's uh, done. Let me just uh, close this new window that is opening there. Then I'll also close the inspection section. Then I'll head to this button at the top for my extensions. Then you can see the mobile simulator is here. Then I click on it. And you can see it is uh, giving us the mobile appearance of the apple.com so you have uh, options when you click on this button at the right here you can see different uh, mobile devices being to be simulated others are paid i think uh, you'll also be able to pay so that uh, you'll you'll be able to enjoy a wide range of uh, devices but still with the free version you can simulate like uh, samsung galaxy s20 so this is how the website looks like you can even open the menu at the top by clicking there you can see that you can close it we can uh, also simulate uh, the tablet view we have a uh, iPad mini here so that is how it looks like we can also use uh, a larger uh, tablet like this one so this is how it looks like or you can even simulate uh, a laptop and you can click there to have a wider view so this is how uh, the extension works. Sometimes if you are loading the HTML pages from your local machine and you're not running them from any server, it may not uh, display them. But there is a way around that. So you can just go to the extensions. Let me just close this. You'll go back to this tab at the top. Then you'll click on manage extensions then come to your mobile simulator which is this one here then click on details then on the details there is this option here to allow access to file urls yeah so make sure you check this if you want uh, this extension to work with you the file urls that is you have the html pages in your local machine and you're displaying them directly using your Chrome browser. So thank you for your time. Uh, that is it for this uh, video. See you next time.